this class we work out five problems on cost of electrical energy problem 1 an electric iron has a rating of 1.5 kilowatts at 220 volts and works for 10 hours a day 26 days in a month calculate the current taken and resistance of its heating element also calculate the cost of electric energy consumed in a month if the cost of 1 kilowatt hour is 2 rupees 25 paise we know that i is equal to p by v where p is the power v is the voltage we know the power power is given 1.5 1.5 into 1000 divided by v is given 220 divided by 220 that is equal to 6.82 amps current taken is 6.82 amps the next is resistance of the heating element r R is equal to V by I. V is given 220. I we found 6.82. 220 divided by 6.82 that is equal to 32.26 ohms. The third is electrical energy used in a day. Energy E is equal to power into time. E is equal to P into T. We know P is given 1.5 into 10. Time is given 10 hours a day into 10 that is equal to 15 kilowatt hour. That is energy electrical energy used in a day. So what is the cost? 15 into 2.25 that is 2 rupees 25 paise that is equal to 33 rupees 75 paise next the electrical energy used in a month so in 26 days that is 15 per day is energy consumption is 15 into 26 that is equal to 390 kilowatt hour the unit cost is 2 rupees 25 paise so 390 into 2 rupees 25 paise that is equal to 877 rupees 50 paise So the cost of electrical energy consumed in a month is 877 rupees 50 paise. The second problem is a two horsepower motor has an efficiency of 85 percentage. What is A? Its electrical power input in watts. B? Its energy consumption if it runs continuously for 10 hours. C? The cost of energy consumption if cost per unit is 2 rupees 25 paise. and d the current carrying capacity of its connecting wire if it is operating from a 220 volt dc supply that is the question the first is we know the output output of the motor is given 2 hp 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts therefore 2 into 746 that is equal to 1492 watts motor output is 1492 watts We know that efficiency is equal to output by input. We know the output. We know the efficiency. Efficiency is given 85 percentage. Therefore, input is equal to output by efficiency. That is equal to 1492 divided by 0.85. That is equal to 1755 watts. Next, we have to find energy consumption. Energy consumption is equal to power into time. Here, the time is given 10 hours. We know the power. Power is 1,755 into 10. That is equal to 17,550 watt hour. Or 17.55 kilowatt hour. Next is cost of consumed energy. That is equal to cost per unit is given 2 rupees 25 paise. 2 into 2.25 into 17.55. That is equal to 39 rupees 50 paise. And we have to find what is the current carrying capacity of the connecting wires. Power P is equal to V into I. I is equal to P by V. We know P. P is equal to 1,755 divided by V is given 220. 1,755 divided by 220 that is equal to 7.98 amps. So current cap carrying capacity of its connecting wire is 7.98 amps. Problem three: A 250 ton train experiences wind resistance 62.5 newton per ton. The operating efficiency of the driving motors is 0.87, and the cost of electrical energy is 7 rupees 50 paise. What is the cost of the energy required to make the train travel 1 kilometer? Supply voltage is 2 kV, and travels a velocity of 80 kilometer per hour. What is the supply current? That is the question. The first step is we have to find in moving 1 kilometer. The weight of the train is given 250 ton. 250 into and its resistance is given 62.5 into 1000. That is equal to 15.63 into 10 power 6 joules. 
and we know the output we can find the input the efficiency is given 0.87 therefore input is equal to output by efficiency the output is 15.63 into 10 power 6 divided by efficiency is 0.87 that is equal to 17.97 into 10 power 6 joules and we know that 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules we can convert into whatever Therefore, input is equal to 17.97 into 10 power 6 divided by 3.6 into 10 power 6. That is equal to 4.99 and is nearly equal to 5 kilowatt hour. Next, we have to find the cost of energy. Cost of energy per unit cost is given 7 rupees 50 pies. 5 into 7.5 that is equal to 37 rupees 50 pies. That is the cost of energy. Next, we have to find one done in one second equal to the input power. One done in one hour when moving the velocity of 80 km per hour. Therefore, one done in one second equal to the input power is the input 17.97 into 10 power 6. This is 80 km per hour that is given into 80 divided by 3600 seconds that is in seconds. Therefore, we will get 399.33 kilowatts. Once we know the power and we know the supply voltage is 2 kV. Therefore, 399.33 into 10 power 3 divided by 2 into 10 power 3 that will I is equal to 199.67 amps. So, the supply current is 199.67 amps. Problem number 4. An electric furnace is being used to melt 20 kg of aluminium. The initial temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. Melting point of aluminium to be 660 degrees centigrade. Its specific heat capacity to be 950 joules per kg degree centigrade. And its specific latent heat of fusion to be 387,000 joules per kg. Calculate the power required to finish the conversion in 40 minutes. Assume the efficiency of conversion to be 75 percentage. What is the cost of energy consumed if the cost of 1 kilowatt hour is 7 rupees 50 pies? The first step is heat used to melt aluminium is equal to mass into specific heat capacity into rise in temperature. Mass is given 20, specific heat capacity is given 950, T2 minus T1, T2 is 660 minus 20 plus mass into heat of fusion that is 387,000 that is equal to 19.9 into 10 power 6 joules next is we have to find what is the electrical energy used 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 therefore 19.9 into 10 power 6 divided by 3.6 into 10 power 6 that is equal to 5.53 kilowatt hour energy supplied to the heating element the conversion efficiency is given 75 percentage therefore 5.53 divided by 0.75 that is equal to 7.37 kilowatt hour power required is equal to here the conversion takes 40 minutes so 40 minutes is equal to 0 0.66 hours this is in kilowatt hour so 40 this is in minutes therefore 40 by 60 is equal to 0 0.66 hours therefore power required is equal to 7.37 by 0.66 that is equal to 11.17 kilowatts. Cost of electrical energy is equal to 7.37 kilowatt hour per kilowatt hour cost is 7 rupees 50 pies. 7.37 into 7.5 that is equal to 55.28 rupees 55 rupees 28 pies. Problem number 5. A diesel generator set supplies an output of 50 kilowatts. If the overall efficiency of the unit is 65 percentage, calculate number one the mass of oil required per hour. Number two, electrical energy generated per kg of the diesel. The calorific value of diesel is equal to 45.5 megajoules per kg. Calorific value of petrol 45.8 megajoules per kg roughly. The output power is given 50 kilowatts. Efficiency of the unit is given 65 percentage that is equal to 0 0.65. We know output and we know the efficiency we can find the input power to the set that is equal to output divided by efficiency that is equal to 50 divided by 0 0.65 that is equal to 76.92 kilowatts. Input energy per hour 
that is equal to 76.92 into 1 that is equal to 76.92 kilo watt hour so we have to convert it to kilo calories 1 kilo watt hour is equal to 860 kilo calories therefore 76.92 into 860 that is equal to 66,151.2 kilo calories 1 kg of diesel produces 45,500 kilo joules we have to convert it into calories that is 1 kilo joules is equal to 0.239 kilo calories therefore 45,500 into 0.239 that is equal to 10,874.5 kilo calories therefore mass of oil required per hour that is equal to input energy per hour that is 66,151.2 divided by 1 kg of diesel produces 10,874.5 that is equal to 6.08 kg so the mass of oil required per hour is equal to 6.08 kg electrical energy generated per kg of diesel that is equal to here 10,874.5 in kilo calories we have to convert it to kilowatt divided by 860 that is equal to 12.65 kW hour so electrical energy generated per kg of diesel is 12.65 kW hour with this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.